QNH, QFE, AQNE. What is this and why it's so important? Let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I'm a trainer captain on the Boeing 737 and today I want to share with you all you need to know about this pressure reference, this pressure reference is also called QNH, QFE and QNE. Before starting this video, I want to ask you one question. If you have any training, pilot training related topic that you would like me to do a video, just leave a comment below with your request and then I will consider your, uh, your message, okay? So let's jump right into it. If you look at the whiteboard here, before actually starting to talk about these pressure references, I need to draw a sea level, okay? Then a terrain, a runway, Well, it's not great, I know, but it's the best I can do. And a mountain. Okay, this is paramount in order to understand exactly the pressure references, okay? So what we've got here, first of all, the QNH. What is a QNH? QNH is the pressure at the mean sea level. So if I draw a line here, this is the QNH, okay? Is a pressure at the mean sea level. What is a mean sea level? As it says, the mean sea level is the mean level of the sea because during the day and night it goes up and down. So what they did, they took an average height of the sea between the day and the night and that is exactly the mean sea level. And the QNH is the pressure at the mean sea level. But why is the QNH important? The QNH is, is important because the pilot uh, uses the QNH when they fly altitudes and most of the time the aircraft flies using altitude. So if I draw an aircraft in here, it looks more like a shoes, but it's an aircraft, I promise you. So what happened is that when the pilot used the QNH as a reference, okay, and the pilot can do that on the altimeters, will fly following altitudes, okay? Altitudes. All right, so then the QFE. The QFE is the pressure around your airport, around your field. An easy way to remember is QFE, you can use the F, the F because of the field, okay? So the QFE, the field pressure. So QFE is the pressure around the airport. So this is the airport and this is the pressure, okay? So an aircraft flying at the same level, if the pilot use the QFE as a reference, will uh, fly using eight, okay? So the altimeters will provide the eight from the QFE, from the airport of your uh, interest, okay? Then we have the QNE, E, the QNE is a standard pressure reference of 1013.25 hectopascal. The QNE, for this example, let me draw the QNE in here. Here we go. So QNE, and this 1013.25 hectopascal. Okay, and an aircraft using the QNE as a reference will fly following flight levels. Okay, flight levels. So as you can see here, three aircraft flying at the same flight, uh, sorry, three aircraft flying at the same level will have a different uh, vertical separation from the sea, from the airfield or from, or from the QNE. So an aircraft using the reference the QNH will fly altitudes, an aircraft using the QFE as a reference will fly eight, and an aircraft using the QNE as a reference will fly flight levels. All right. So, but when do we use QNH, when do we use QFE, and when do we use QNE? All right, let's start first with the QNH. As you can see, the QNH is the reference from the uh, mean sea level that gives you the altitude. Why it is important? When you take off, you always need to have the QNH set as a reference. Why? Because when you take off, you are low, and your biggest threat during the takeoff phase is the terrain. Since you need to know if you're flying below or above the terrain, okay, you need to use the QNH because the terrain elevation that you can find in the charts, okay, is the difference between the top of the mountain to the mean sea level. So let's say that this mountain is uh, 2,000 feet, uh, the top of this mountain is at 2,000 feet, so it's the difference between the mean sea level and the top of the mountain. So if you want to know if you are flying above or below, the top of the mountain, you need to use the same references because if you use a different reference, your altimeter provides you an information that is not useful for you. Fantastic. Then, what is a QNE? 
all right? So, as you can imagine, the Q&H changing by place to place, depending on the weather. So, a Q&H in my area, for example, here, that today maybe is 1030 hectopascal, is different to the Q&H of your area, that maybe is 1000. So, if we maintain the Q&H, our Q&H as a reference, and you're flying inbound me, and I'm flying inbound you, what will happen is that once we get close, we're gonna, we are, we're gonna use two different references, two different altimeter pressure references, because you've got your Q&H as a reference, and I've got my Q&H as a reference. And this is a problem, because the separation between aircraft will be not possible. So what, what do we do? Once we fly, so we take off, we climb, we get separated from the uh, terrain, so there is, the terrain is no longer a factor, and we arrive at a transition altitude. Once we pass the transition altitude, we change our pressure altimeter setting from the QNH to the QNE in order to get the separation from the other traffics, okay? So what will happen is that you will not use the mean sea level as a reference, but you will use the QNE once the terrain is no longer a factor, because you don't care anymore since the terrain, you're flying well above the terrain. But what you care is that during cruise, you want to be separated from other aircraft that are approaching you. And since everybody's using the same pressure reference, the QNE, during cruise, we are uh, safe, that our, we are sure that our vertical separation is maintained, okay, that our altimeters actually reading, are reading the same value, because if you're approaching my aircraft, and I, I'm fine, if, if we are approaching ourselves, and you've got the 1013 set as a reference, and I've got 1013 set on my reference, our altimeters are synchronized, let's say, okay, fantastic. Lastly, the QFE, as we said, is the field pressure, and normally I've been flying for more than 15 years, okay, and I've never used the QFE. The QFE, you can use it if you want to know the height from the height of your aircraft from your reference airport, but the QFE is mostly used for maintenance. Uh, when you're doing some checks on your altimeters, you want to set the QFE in order to check the accuracy of your altimeters. All right, I hope this video was clear for you. If you took something out of it, give it a like and consider subscribe to the channel in order that you don't miss the next videos. Also, go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free Palo training content. If you have any questions about this video or any previous video, just throw me a comment below and I will answer you as soon as possible. And I'll see you in the next one.